there are many things which pull us away from spiritual life, pull us in different directions in our lives, trying to find the essential happiness that dwells deep within, that we find when we experience a sense of wholeness, a sense of completeness that comes when there is deep love in our life. When we are engaged in activities that are deeply fulfilling and in the silence in nature with a loved one, in the stillness of meditation, we find a wholeness that completes us. There is in each and every person a restlessness a restlessness you may have felt may have experienced a restlessness that moves through life a restlessness to become to know to acquire to find a certain happiness which you find for a moment in life's activities and then it evades you again. And again that restless need is there. That longing, that wanting of something more. And so the human condition of wanting, desiring, and avoiding, trying to stay away from those things which cause pain, cause suffering, the losses, the sorrows of life, the loneliness. In the effort to avoid those painful situations and to hold on to those things which bring happiness, however fleeting. We find we are constantly in a struggle. That human life becomes a struggle, a struggle to acquire, whether it's physical survival, shelter, basic needs, or if those are met, psychological needs a need for love, a need for acceptance, a need to express yourself. Always those needs are there, always the effort, the struggle to fulfill them. And the fear that you will find yourself destitute in ill health, lonely and alone, that somehow in your life you will be crippled and not able to fulfill the desire of your heart. But this process of needing, grasping, holding on, and fearing loss, suffering goes on and on and the process itself becomes the condition of suffering in human life and those men and women of the past those ancient yogis sages and saints of the past they realized the dilemma of the human condition and they realized that 
there must be a way out. There must be some way to mitigate this situation, to bring some sort of lasting happiness, some sort of deeper wholeness into human life. And in that process of going deep within, of searching inside for the answers to this fundamental struggle in human life, this restlessness and pain, this condition of suffering. Those sage and saints of the past found that there is indeed a way to go beyond this duality, this condition of suffering. And they found that that was going so deep within, into your own being, until you discover the place inside of yourself, in your perceptual field, where there ceases to be a need to acquire and a need to fear. And those saints and sages of the past, they found that that comes, that understanding comes when you reach beyond the sense of I amness the asmita, the ego, I amness. When you go deeper than that feeling of individual existence, you realize that you are part of a deeper whole, a connected existence, a life force, a consciousness, which is not bound by these conditions of human life that is immortal, eternal, that always has been, always will be, that when the individual ego, individual sense of self is dissolved, into this larger sense of self. There is the realization that you are a part of something that doesn't come and go. That there is nothing to lose and nothing to gain. The losing and the gaining the need and the fear are all a part of our individuality, of our sense of separateness from the whole. When we fall from grace, when we fall from the understanding that we are whole, that we are one existence, when that understanding gets lost, and we feel we're an isolated individual, then we need and we fear. And most of all, we fear death of the body. And we cling to life. But when that sense of individuality that that's based in is dissolved, What remains is a sense of self that is not bound by the limitations of a body and that does not have a sense of individuality, a sense of self that is whole, complete, Human beings talk a lot about love. Love's a very important topic. You feel, I want to love someone. I want to be loved. You don't want to be alone. You want to be in love. 
But what does it mean to love? Isn't love that moment when there is not two, but one? Mm -hmm. That moment when your heart is so full that you lose your aloneness, you lose your separateness. The deep yearning in the human heart, in the human spirit, is to move beyond separateness, beyond the sense of isolation and loneliness, into the wholeness. And love is the avenue. Love is a doorway to feeling that there is no duality, no separateness. When the heart is fulfilled, the mind becomes calm. When the heart is fulfilled truly, then there is a fullness that has no opposite. In that deep, deep love that transcends the sense of I and thou. There is a completion of human life. There the restlessness of the human spirit finds resolve. That is your home. It is also your truly natural state of being when all of the stress and the tension and the need and the fear relax, what do you relax into? But this wholeness, this love, which is complete in itself, this truth of your own being, This is the sum bonum of human life, to realize the great. You are all the sons and daughters of that great entity. You are all the children of the eternal being, of the eternal essence of all. And when you let go when you relax when you stop trying to achieve to win when you stop running from life struggles and you relax and let go then you come to the wholeness of life. Then you come to the stillness within where I and thou cease to exist, where there is only one eternal flow. eternal being when there is no longer two but only one There ceases to be the seed of suffering. The seed of suffering lies in your duality 
in your separation, in your sense of I as opposed to thou. When that ego is dissolved, then you are free. The source of your suffering removed. To touch this, so many practices have been developed, so many different types of meditation, so many physical practices, psychic practices, so that you can find your way to this place within you. But the experience is not a practice. It is your experience, your authentic experience. Practice can only bring you towards it, but the experience, the place lies within you for you to discover in your own way. And that journey home, that is the journey of human life. That is the purpose of human life. The dharma, the very dharma of human beings is to find that truth, that completeness, and to free yourself from suffering. This is called Bhagavad Dharma. Human Dharma. Divine Dharma. To know the divinity that lies within you. This is the natural flow of human life from ignorance and fear and struggle to the completeness and wholeness of love unconditional, to the deep wisdom of the soul to the wholeness within. It is not just for great yogis or special saints and sages. It is for everyone, for every human being. It is for you. This human life is very special. And the yogis say, very rare. Use it wisely. 